Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design That. I just want to give you a quick update on my trip and my experiences of traveling with film. The trip so far has been brilliant and had a lot of fun. Hong Kong was exactly as I remember it. It was kind of really inspiring to kind of be in a place like that after having just watched uh, Blade Runner. So that was really, really cool. I've got three weeks left of the trip. The main part of my photography is gonna begin now because my girlfriend's gonna be going back home soon. So I'm just gonna be kind of by myself uh, for a few weeks. And it just gives me more time to really dedicate to taking pictures because Obviously, as you probably all know, when you're on holiday and you've got, you know, a partner, it's, it's a bit hard to kind of fit in a lot of photography. Uh, I know that in this weather, it's really not nice for my girlfriend to be just standing there while I spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes to take one picture. Kind of going to be sad that obviously she's going, but I'm excited as well because it means that I can really crack on with taking some images. So overall, my experiences of traveling with film have been mostly positive. I've only had two experiences, and to be honest with you, those two experiences that were negative were probably just down to me. The first bad experience was in Heathrow and this was at the very first stop which is really really annoying because I was hoping not to get any radiation uh, on my film and I failed at the first stop and it was just due to me being too shy and not wanting to ask the security people to hand check it. So it was really really busy in Heathrow Airport and they were just trying to get everyone through the line. People were huffing and puffing and uh, a few people got a bit peed off by waiting so long. I just, uh, you know, just, I guess I was just too shy. I didn't really want to kind of speak up. I just kind of wanted to get through and just get on with the flight. Because of that, obviously, it all took a, all my film took a dose of radiation. So that really did suck. But according to Kodak, uh, anything below ISO 800 should be okay with one exposure or maybe two exposures on the machines. I think it really does vary, but the maximum ISO film that I've got is up to 400. So I thought, one dosage isn't really going to be that bad. My second bad experience was in Phuket Airport and again that was probably my fault really. I did explain to the woman that I wanted it manually checked. I went through the, the barrier, the security screen. I think she just didn't understand. I kind of looked to her to expect her to pass it over to the machine and give it to me, which is what other people have done in different airports. And she just put it through the, um, put it through the, the machine, the x-ray machine. So she obviously misunderstood what I, what I wanted her to do. All of my film has taken two doses of radiation now, so it's gonna be really interesting to see if that has actually affected the, the quality of the film. I haven't actually been able to get anything scanned at the moment. I did get something processed, but in Hong Kong, but it's not been scanned yet. I'm gonna be doing that in a few days time and I'll do an update just to see kind of what the film looks like. Anyone who is wanting to travel with film, I've just got two tips for you and this is something that I've come across every single place that I've been at, is to make sure that you unpack your film uh, out of the cardboard sleeves. Just keep it in this. No one's actually asked me to, to unwrap this plastic film. I think when they see this, they know what to expect. But they have asked me to take out the 35 mil from these containers, you know, just to save them the bother. If you've got a lot of film like I have, I've just chucked away the, the cardboard sleeves. I just kept everything like this. And then when I'm in the airport, I just unpack these and just so you can actually see the film inside of it. And that is it. Honestly, I haven't really had any other bad experiences. I've read on forums of people you know having bad experiences and the security people just basically not having any of it and they just say no it's got to be scanned every single airport i've been to so that is uh, hong kong phuket bangkok dmk changi airport and singapore uh, all of those have been fine everyone's been really happy to accept the request of, of manually checking it and it's you know it's just taking like an extra minute i you know i would just make sure that you you are vigilant uh, when they do have it in their hands to make sure that they don't just chuck it through the machine you know just in case they did misunderstand what, what you was asking for so far in traveling all of my film has taken two doses of radiation I did actually have more film that took more doses and this was another mistake that I made. I didn't finish all of the shots in a roll of film that was in here. I thought that I could also take this out and say, it's got a film in it, can you check it? Basically, no, you can't. This needs to be scanned and so does my other camera, which is the Olympus. I've got a roll in here that has had three doses of radiation. I've also got a 35 mil, which has got three doses or maybe even four. I think I made the mistake twice. 
don't ask me why but yeah so make sure you whenever you're kind of leaving make sure that you've finished the roll and you take it out it's very important that you take it out so hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight into traveling with film I would not be put off with traveling uh, and, and shooting film, definitely not. I've heard some horror stories online, but I think most airports will be fine. I think it just comes down to a lot of your attitude as well. If you, know, if you greet them with a smile uh, and if you're patient and you, know, you, you just wait for them to, to do what they need to do, I think most people will be happy with it. Stay tuned because I have a roll being processed and I'm getting it scanned as well. So I should have those results back in a few days. So it's gonna be interesting to see if that radiation has actually affected it. Again, I've heard a lot of kind of mixed things about this. Some people say, you know, they've taken it on airports. It's been through lots of scanners and didn't see any, any difference in kind of the outcome of it. Some people have said, you know, they've gone through like one machine and it's all completely ruined. So it'd be interesting to see if we see any you know, telltale signs of, uh, of the radiation and like the fogging of the film and stuff like that. Uh, it's also interesting because I've got film that's had more, ex more exposures than, than the other, so we can see actually maybe if there is some sort of tolerance to the film, which would be interesting. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that is it for now. Catch you all later.